Hey everyone, welcome to the review. Here's my review for the movie Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising. Yes, this is the sequel to 2014's movie Neighbors. Yes, this movie stars Seth Rogen, Rose Byrne, Zac Efron, Selena Gomez, Chloe Grace Moretz, and Dave Franco. And this movie is directed by Nicholas Stoller, who's previously directed movies like The First Neighbors movie, The Five Year Engagement, Get Into the Greek, and my personal favorite, Forgetting Sarah Marshall. And the story of this movie is it actually takes place a couple years later after the pre of the previous Neighbors movie. And like in the previous Neighbors movie, this time they live next door to a sorority house. Yes, in the first Neighbors movie, it's about a married couple who lives next door to a fraternity house, and they gotta deal with their issues. And now this one is pretty much the same, but with a sorority. It's a bunch of college girls partying, drinking, and making their lives a living hell. And in this one, Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne have to get Teddy, Zach Everyone's character from the previous movie, to, co to come help them up and get rid of this sorority house that's living next door, and yeah, I didn't think they would ever make a sequel to the Neighbors movie, because the Neighbors movie, actually, I thought it was a pretty good movie. I actually do enjoy the first Neighbors movie. I think it's a funny movie. It's got some pretty good writing. I enjoy the performances. I, think, I thought most people were funny. Seth Rogen was funny, because he played Seth Rogen. Zac Efron was actually funny. Zac Efron is usually a hit and miss, mostly a miss with me, but occasionally he does do some pretty good movies, and Neighbors is one of my favorite Zac Efron movies, and yeah, he was really good in that movie, and I thought Rose Byrne stole the first Neighbors movie, and yeah, I didn't think they'd make a sequel, and they did, and I, I even said if they make a sequel to it, I bet you it's about sororities instead of fraternities, and of course, that's what it's about, and honestly, this movie kind of worked. I actually had fun with the Neighbors too. Uh, I didn't think I would, because I have a fear of comedy sequels. Because usually the sequel is never as good as its predecessor, and it usually, like, insults the first movie. Like, it's just a pointless sequel, and this one's actually not that bad. Kind of like a 22 Jump Street to 21 Jump Street. It's just as funny as its a predecessor, and The First Neighbors was nothing a groundbreaking film. It wasn't anything special. It was just a fun, entertaining, comedic movie, and... That's the same with Neighbors 2. It's just a fun, entertaining, comedic film. And I laughed a lot in this movie, and I enjoyed some of these characters. Once again, Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne, they work really great together. They both have great chemistry, and they're both very, very funny. They both have great comedic timing. They're both really great. And I love seeing Zac Efron, Teddy again. He was really funny in this movie. And I love seeing Seth Rogen's buddies again. They were all funny. Dave Franco, Christopher Menz Plasse, they all return too as like small roles. Same with Lisa Kudrow. Lisa Kudrow also returns too. And yeah, the sororities, they were okay. Chloe Grace Mraz, she's not as good as Teddy. Like, I love the rivalry of Seth Rogen and Rose Byrne versus Teddy in this fraternity. That rivalry was a little, like, it was a little more entertaining. This one was still fine. Just, it wasn't as good as the first ones. That rivalry was much more funny. I don't know why. Just for because fraternities are just more gross and they're just more immature and stuff. And I, maybe that's why. But so the great Chloe Grace Moretz was fine. Selena Gomez was you know just Selena Gomez. She was eh. But the jokes did hit, and there was some pretty funny dialogue in this movie. So the writing was fine. Nicholas Stoller, when it comes to his movies. He usually gives a good movie. Like, he directs a good movie. The only movie I don't like of his, actually, is Get Into the Greek. I'm not a fan of that movie, but the rest of his filmography, I'm a big fan of this guy. I like when he writes and directs a movie. I find his movies very funny, and Neighbors 2 was funny. It was enjoyable. It was entertaining. It's nothing you have to, like, go see right away. Basically, it is for fans of Neighbors. If you didn't like Neighbors, you ain't gonna like Neighbors 2, so... Yeah, basically, everything what you got from the first one, you get in this one. And maybe a little then some, but the first one did it first, so it's a little better, I guess. I enjoyed the first one. I think I laughed more consistently in the first Neighbors movie, but I laughed a lot in this movie, and I still had a lot of fun with it. So, yeah, I can recommend Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising. It's definitely a fun, enjoyable sequel, and it's not a disappointment. It's not as good as the predecessor. It's pretty much just as even as the predecessor. Maybe the predecessor is a little better, but I still like Neighbors 2, surprisingly. I thought it would be like a pointless sequel, but again, it's like 22 Jump Street to 21 Jump Street. It's a good comedic sequel, and I recommend Neighbors 2. So yeah, scale 1 to 10, I'll give the movie Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising a 7 out of 10. So yeah, check it out. It's a good time. It's a good time. So yeah, that was my review for the movie Neighbors 2 Sorority Rising. So in the comment section below, please tell me what is your favorite Nicholas Stoller movie. What is your favorite Nicholas Stoller movie? My favorite is Forgetting Sarah Marshall. But what is your favorite? Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.